So I put out a video almost 18 months ago and that video went viral. This video was essentially about the Y strap maneuver and chiropractors that are online doing these adjustments to patients where they put this device around your neck and pull it really hard. Well, in this video today, we're gonna to be responding to some of those comments that are people left on the video. This video got over 8.5 million views, or almost 11,000 comments, and I just wanted to react to some of those comments today. What's up guys, Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. So, for those who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. A while back, I put out a video about the chiropractic Y strap manipulation, and I received a lot of feedback. So, there were some people that were, you know, happy with my response in terms of, you know, being open minded in terms of, you know, chiropractors. And also, there were some people that were sending me really nasty and hateful emails. But I wanted to respond to some of those comments today. But if you don't know what the Y strap is, it's a, essentially a device that they put around your head and they yank it really hard to essentially help with pain or try to decompress your spine. But as I mentioned in the previous video, a lot of these adjustments are too forceful. So there's important structures in the neck, uh, there's arteries, there's uh, vessels, nerves, uh, the spinal cord, disc herniations that can occur, that can push into the nerves if, uh, if it's done too forcefully. And I just basically talked about uh, there's no evidence behind it. And it was really interesting to see the dichotomy of certain chiropractors that were for it and other chiropractors that would say, absolutely no way. I'm, I would never recommend that to my patient, but um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it right up here. But let, let's just check out some of the comments. This is one from a, a chiropractor here. As a chiropractor, this technique is garbage, full on manipulation that makes us look sloppy and dangerous. I pity anyone who sees this and thinks this is chiropractic. Um, so this is, you know, people that are watching the video and have uh, left their feedback. This is from Mert. Those kinds of neck tractions and rotations shown in the video can cause vertebral artery dissection, thrombrosis of the cerebral arteries, and death. As a medical doctor for 25 years, I do not recommend. Um, you know, after doing a little bit more research, I don't think there's a lot of evidence. You know, there's certainly case reports out there, but you know, the incidence of vertebral artery dissection, which are the large vessels, vessels in the neck, um, becoming dissected or torn from this forceful uh, pulling on your neck. Um, you know, I don't think it's as common as I once thought. And this video was put out over 18 months ago. I did a little research and a little reading, uh, but it certainly can happen. You know, anything can happen. Other kind of comments that were, that were left. I've seen a lot of videos. Me and my brother tried this on our little sister. Going to miss her. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's not really funny though, but uh, didn't work out, but at least you have memories of her. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Uh, some other kind of comments on the vi video. Uh, I am a DC, which is a doctor of chiropractic, or doc doctor of chiropractor. Uh, and for me, the wise scrap is an aberration. It shouldn't exist. It's dangerous, non-specific. Exactly the opposite of what a chiropractor should do. Other comments that are on here. I feel like the Y strap seems like a conservative way to decompress the spine. Has to be a better way than having someone cut on you and go around with your spinal cord. I don't know. The chiral techniques just seem more natural to me. Well, yeah, there are a lot of things that you know we, we do when patients come to see um, us as surgeons. I'm a very conservative surgeon, so certainly I try to figure out ways that we can treat their pain. And there. Obviously, some patients that you know we, we're, we're never going to treat their pain. There's a lot of different things that could be going on from traumatic events in the past, or PTSD, or some type of supertentorial kind of etiologies. But um, you know, we try these things. I send patients to physical therapy, to chiropractors, to uh, to get injections in their neck, kind of those conservative things, anti-inflammatories, home exercise programs. You know, I've you know, had patients that have come in and say, hey, acupuncture has uh, worked for me in the past and I'd like to continue that. 
Well, you know, if something's working for you and you're willing to spend the money to do it, then do it. If it keeps you off of the operating room table, I'm all for that. There's never a patient that I've, you know, I'm looking at unless they have one of those things that, you know, it's a surgical urgency for us as surgeons. So yes, I, th I do think the Y strap seems like a conservative way to decompress the spine. Uh, do I really believe that though? Uh, decompressing the spine, you know, when you pull on the spine, you pull on the spinal elements, uh, let's say a patient has spinal stenosis where their, their spinal canal, the nerves are really tight. Certainly, you can pull on it, but it's gonna go right back to that same position. Uh, doing the, this Y strap in a very forceful manner, I don't think really does much at all. It can actually cause more harm than anything. So it may seem like a conservative option if you're weighing just those two options, surgery versus the Y strap, but Brandon, good comment, but I'm not sure if I necessarily uh, buy that. For Michael, the fact that all, not all chiropractors can agree on the effectiveness is a huge warning sign. Absolutely. I've gotten so many emails uh, from your favorite chiropractors that are online inviting me to go get this uh, Y strap. Another comment, ain't this the kid that pretended to be a gynecologist? <laughs> That's fine. If you ever uh, got, have heard of the, the doc, Dr. Love, he's a gentleman who pretended to be a doctor. Some people say he looks like me. What do you guys think? There's other people, there's no way in hell that I will visit you. Uh, is this guy really a doctor? I mean, these are just trolls online that, um, that's fine, Catherine. Um, maybe you'll visit me in heaven. Is this guy really a doctor? Absolutely, I went to school for 14 years. Uh, hopefully I'm a doctor after 14 years. Uh, Dr. Rice, as a chiropractor myself, I would avoid this particular version of spinal manipulation. I commend you for your integrity, open-mindedness, willingness to learn about a topic that you are far too humbled about. You, sir, are an expert if I have ever seen one. Much respect. Thanks, Dr. Rice. I appreciate that. You know, I just try to lay it out and, you know, talk the truth. Swartz, I'm a chiropractor and I can tell you that I would not use this method for my patients. I agree with Dr. Webb. These YouTube videos where doctor yank their patients so hard they fly across the table is unsafe and is for show. So that's what I think most of these adjustments that you guys are seeing, these pulling on the neck, I mean, most of this stuff is for show. Um, as a chiropractic neurologist, I would never use this traumatic method. method. Use sensible, safe methods only. And I, that's what I recommend. You know, when I send to chiropractors, I uh, refer patients to them. You know, it has to be a chiropractor that, that is doing something that aligns with what I think is safe and effective for the patient. Um, so I wouldn't send to a chiropractor, refer patients or refer my patients, my family members, friends to a chiropractors that um, are going to be very forceful and do these forceful things. And I know surgery is not benign. Surgery has a lot of risks associated with it. I mean, when you're dealing around the spinal cord, you're, you're dealing around the nerves and there's risks associated with it. There's patients that, you know, in every single surgery that happens, there's something that can go wrong. So of course, we try all of these things first, and then we uh, talk about surgery. So use that as a last resort, and that's kind of what I kind of stand by, so. And just to highlight the point that I would, was not just picking and grabbing certain comments, we're gonna go through these comments here and kind of react to a couple of them. So um, over 11,000 comments, people have commented on this video. It's actually received over 8.5 million views. So this video actually went viral, um, but a couple of the comments. A surgeon that believes surgery should be the last resort, that's called integrity, boys and girls. And absolutely, man, surgery, always the last resort. I try everything. You know, if it's working, we continue that. But surgery, last resort. I appreciate your honesty for surgeons who say surgery is always the last resort. To me, is a sign of sincerity. You know, Dr. Rice's comment here, what are you talking about? He, he does not recommend it. A humble and down-to-earth surgeon. Good to see professionals like this. Excellent video. I've had these adjustments done many times and found it extremely therapeutic. However, I am a chiropractor and reluctant to do the maneuver. It scares me, even though I've never heard of an adverse reaction. So this is a chiropractor who will not offer it to his patients or her patients, but this chiropractor got it done himself. I'm not sure what, what that's all about, but comment here. This was interesting and serious since you announced that you weren't an expert on a particular procedure. But you didn't. But you didn't just call it rubbish and dangerous. I actually think a lot of doctors would diss it altogether since it's not a treatment that they read about in med school. Absolutely, 
So this is one of those things that uh, you know we didn't learn about in med school. Most of the stuff that you, you recommend or you do, a lot of the things um, are not taught in med school. It's taught once you're out in practice and then you're kind of from your own evidence, kind of in your practice, what's worked for you, what's worked best for your patients. And then you look at the evidence and then make recommendations based off of that. Uh, solid advice, those Y strap adjustments look so, look so sketch. Uh, here's Dr. Story as a chiropractor. I've had this question on my channel as well as patients asking for it. I feel like it's, it's too aggressive for many people and thus for my patients I don't use it. If I'm able to help in some more gentle way, I will always choose a safer and more gentle method. So I absolutely agree with that. Dr. Story, great point. I think more gentle and less force uh, for if you're doing an adjustment of your neck or your back, uh, those are, I think, what, what the, the best things to do. The, 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 pulling your neck or pulling your, your back or your leg, you know, really forcefully, I mean, that's not really effective. And it's kind of highlighted throughout all of these comments here. So, what are you guys thought? Uh, have you guys tried the Y-strap maneuver? Put it in the comments below. Was it helpful for you? Did it hurt? Did it not hurt? Uh, let me know. Uh, and I have other videos about my assessments and also my reactions to videos on chiropractors online. I'll put that right up here. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.